And the Job again took up his parable and said, As God liveth who hath taken away my right, and the Almighty who hath vexed my soul, for my life is yet whole in me, and the Spirit of God is in my nostrils, surely my lips shall not speak unrighteousness, neither shall my tongue utter deceit. Far be it from me that I should justify you. Till I die I will not put away my integrity from me. My righteousness I hold fast and will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live. Let my enemy be as the wicked, and let him that riseth up against me be as the unrighteous. For what is the hope of the godless, though he get him gain, when God taketh away his soul? Will God hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him? Will he delight himself in the Almighty and call upon God at all times? I will teach you concerning the hand of God, that which is, the, that which is with the Almighty will I not conceal. Behold, all ye yourselves have seen it. Why then are ye become altogether vain? This is the portion of the wicked man with God, and the heritage of oppressors which they receive from the Almighty. If his children be multipl multiplied... If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his widows shall make no lamentation. Though he heap up silver as the dust, and prepare raiment as the clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on, and the innocent shall divide the silver. He buildeth his house as the moth, and as a booth, which the keeper maketh. He lieth down rich, but he shall not be ga gathered to his fathers. He openeth his eyes, and he is not. Terrors overtake him like waters. A tempest stealeth him away in the night. The east wind carrieth him away, and he departeth, and it sweepeth him out of his place. For God shall hurl at him, and not spare. From his hand fleeingly he would flee. Men shall clap their hands at him, and he shall and shall hiss him out of his place.